Hello and welcome, I'm the Imprint. Today we're gonna check out a Millennia, the demo on the Steam Next Fest, which is a, another 4X game uh, published by Paradox Entertainment. I have played one match so far, and it did some things I found interesting. It did some things I'm not so super interested in, I must say, or I haven't really figured them out yet. So let's start a new game, and we're just gonna go with Quick Start. We're gonna leave everything on random. We leave it on adept, basic, medium difficulty. I'm just gonna start into this. So the timeline is initializing, which yeah, I would assume is a is important little bit to happen. Okay, <laughs> all right, straight off the bat, the graphics. I love the cloud coverage. That's really cool. Everything else, the interface is okay. Somehow, the main graphics are really, really not my thing. I'm not quite sure what it is. Like, I think if you zoom out too much, it, it just looks off. It doesn't render all that properly. It, it looks okay, it just doesn't look super great. I cannot quite put my finger on it. It just... I don't know. I'm, maybe I'm used the stylized graphics for 4X games so much that something more toward a realistic graphic set kind of is off-putting. But anyway, that's not the core focus of these kind of games. Uh, let's go through a few things that we have available to us. So first thing that is a little bit different from most other... Uh, 4X games is that you have armies that can have multiple units in them and it fights a little bit like Master of Orion used to do. We'll see that later, I hope. So let's combine our armies. So we have one army with a Scout Cavalry and a Warband and we have another random Warband standing around. So we're just gonna combine these up. You can see the white area is where we can move. So now we have an army here. We can't move this army further because only one, uh, one unit is at zero movement, which is indicated here. Whereas the others are doing other things. So we can give it a name, which is the second army for now. I don't care so much. We're going to leave it there. We're going to just skip the army. F funnily enough, like this heals up, but there is no... There is no command to just stay and defend. So every single turn, if you don't want the army to move anywhere, you have to click this or click that. First, a little annoyance, which I don't really see why they did that. I, I don't know. Okay, let's check out the research, the culture, the domains, all these other things that are slightly, ever so slightly different from what we're used to. So in the research end here, uh, this is basically, as the title suggests, is research. So we get these cards, and each of these cards unlocks something. We can unlock all of these, but once we have three unlocked, we can progress to the Bronze Age, basically. So, sometimes it would make sense to unlock more before moving on to the next, and so on and so forth. So, what you unlock kind of gives direction to what you want to do. Much more so than in other games, I feel. For example, if we take the workers, then we're going to try and catch a lot of land that we can then improve. Because we get some things here, we get the Levy Workers Project... We get uh, the clay pit and we get improvement points upon unlocking. Uh, these are what we're going to use. There are no builders like in Civilization. What we have is improvement points and you'll see how those work eventually. Then we have defenses which gives us some uh, military units. It gives us an archer spawn and it gives us warfare XP. Again, we're going to get to that later. Here is the council building which is basically giving you research, more or less. Like, this is just giving you research, giving you knowledge. The farm improvement is unlocked here, then some stockpiling stuff. Something they add, which I like, but they don't implement it all that well, is if you look at the tooltip here, there's these little sliders that slurp on right next uh, to my cursor, and once it's locked, I can move around in here. Something I find kind of odd, because they do that really well in a lot of games now in Paradox Catalog, and I'm happy they introduced it here. Half of the information is missing. There's a lot of assumptions of what you should know. I don't know what production is. I can't hover over it. 
So it's a, it's a little bit of a half-hearted implementation at this point. Uh, on the other hand, you have places like, let's say, I think we had it here. Yeah. So here we have levy workers. That's a highlighted term. And we can look at that. And oh, look at that. Suddenly we have some information on production. I don't know why we don't have that here. For improvement or um, here for production. I, it's, it's inconsistent is what I'm saying. I hope they clean that up at some point because that is half the the positive side of these kind of tooltips, which I really love. So we're going to select workers for now. It's going to take us six turns to unlock them. And it's a little bit of race against all the others. Uh, because if you are the first one to reach a new age, that gives you a little bit of a bonus there. We have our outline over up here. So we have our little uh, armies and all that kind of stuff. And now we can build something. So Birmingham... If we click on this up here, we get to do the allocation of units, basically. So we have one worker and we can decide what they should work. They work grassland, giving us food, which then in turn should give us greater population. At the moment, we have 200% of our needs in food met. So we could easily move them over here and lose a little bit of food. But uh, that's okay. So unrest... There's no unrest for us here. We are uh, England. So our main city here is Birmingham. We can then build. This is also accessed over this little bubble over there. And this is kind of bog standard straightforward stuff more or less. We could levy workers which gives us improvement points over time. But honestly that's a little bit of a waste. We could go for a town center giving us a government XP. Also very important honestly to have. Uh, Palisade walls for some more protection would be nice. Uh, Dolmen for influence points, which uh, one time border expansion is when you build it and you get 100 influence. Influence pushes out your borders basically. You can filter it a little bit. I, I don't know, I'm not super happy with this. There is no queue, so you can select only one thing and then once it's done you have to select a new thing. Not super convinced with that one, but it's okay. Let's see. Town center building. I think we're going to go with the town center. Let's build that first. Probably should we should build more combat units, honestly. So next thing we have is culture over here. And that's just continually ticking up, basically. And for these culture points, we can then create a town or do local reforms, which increases efficiency in an area. Then we have this government thing, and it's it's like the domain thing is a little bit split up. What we're researching here, this will give us basically uh, some productivity domain stuff. Down here are productivity points, which we then can invest in like a hunting camp, a dock, a fishing boat, also, which improves our tiles, basically. In the government here, we can spawn a settler. So we need government points to spawn a settler. That is why, you know, getting something that gives you government XP each turn, kind of helpful, kind of sensible. Or you can invest them into improvements overall. For example, your homeland gives you plus one food. Uh, you can raise a tribal army, which then is spawned, and so on and so forth. So there are several layers of what you can do with your points that you're curing. Now, the thing is, the, the turns are a little bit weird. So we start in 10,000 before Christ. And let's end the turn. We can't move anywhere. We, we did everything that we can do. And we go 250 years. Okay, then. All right, now. You can do that for sure. So let's go have a little look around, uh, explore our surroundings. There are barbarians, as is tradition in these games. There are other civilizations. There are neutral civilizations that you can deal with. It's, it's a little bit difficult to tell what is a neutral civilization, uh, but we'll we'll figure it out. So right now, all we can do really is, is move our troops around, uh, have a little look-see at the area, and we have just met the French people. So we could attack them, I think. Oh, down here is a tribal camp, which hopefully we can access. Uh, no, we are too late. So the French have picked up that tribal camp before us. But there's another tribal camp, which most likely the French are also going to pick up before us. Yep. <laughs> 
So that is uh, slightly frustrating. Let's go in a different direction then, where the French are coming from, which is over here. So we see here 48, that is our combat power. I don't know exactly what that little circle is. And we can now create a town. Now, a, tia a, a town is something that generates wealth per adjacent improvement and it generates influence, so it increases the, uh, the expansion stuff. We could also go ahead and reform locals or we just kind of wait for a settler. And I think we're going to wait for a settler. We're not going to spend immediately. That was a mistake I did early on. I, I immediately went ahead and spent those points. And then I didn't know how to, how to expand. They took the points and they built a little town here in their territory. So now there's Visby. There's another scout. We could, of course, take our scout out and move him independently. That is, of course, an option. And we see his army is pretty strong, honestly, because they already have a leader in there. That's the big lad with the uh, with the club, with the big, big club. So let's see. Still, we're not going to do anything. We just, we just want a settler, really. Now, the thing about additional towns, I swear, I don't exactly know how those are supposed to work. I couldn't figure it last uh, last time. Like... They don't get their own independent building stuff. At least I didn't see it. Okay, culture uh, culture is still ready. Does it even cost us something? Let, let's just create the town. Maybe that doesn't even cost us anything and it just completely wasted those turns. It didn't cost us anything. <laughs> we have con uh, completed our research, so we now get some improvement points. We get an improvement to the levy workers thing, and we can build a clay pit, which then does things. Uh, now we need to select a new thing, and personally, I don't know how to play this without defenses. So, uh, maybe, maybe we go with this, get some more research going, because that's kind of important in this game. More so than in others, to, to, to a point. And we're not going to do anything there. We're still building our stuff. Our armies have been moved. So we're just going to end the turn. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. We just had this battle here. So the barbarians attacked our scout. Our scout are lost and was pushed back. And we're now going to attack into these. And this is how the combat looks like. like I don't mind this. You know, it's, it's a little bit of an auto-battler in there. Uh, that's okay. And the thing is, I'm a little bit confused. I attacked with something else, but since they were engaged with my scout, the battle was actually the scout. So, me bringing them in only now works after the other battle has been resolved with the scout. So, now my warband gets to do the thing. And honestly, the sound design is... What is this? Really, what is this? This is a very... I don't know. I don't want to sound mean, but it, it, it feels uh, so low budget. And sound design is something that usually games of all sizes do really, really well. Ooh, we got some lost archers and we could either give, uh, get us some 10 warfare, warfare experience or we get the archers. Now, archers are pretty darn strong, so we're going to get them rather than uh, giving them away. And we're going to combine them with our actual troops. So... In this here, it's pretty cool. So the archers are going to stand in the back, and uh, these guys are going to stand in the front. I hope, anyway. That that's kind of how it wor worked last time. So let's continue. We can see our influence slowly spreading there, but we definitely want our army out here, close by where our scout is, because the scout—they're not super weak, but they're also not super strong. And there's more barbarians coming up. So we're going to go in a different direction. So our scout doesn't immediately get attacked again. And we're going to leave them there. And we're going to move these up in hopes that the barbarians are going to attack this army rather than our scout. Because our scout, I want them to send in, to be sent into the barbarian camp there. And we can see here this brownish area. That's probably uh, an independent city. Okay, it's, it's not so easy to tell. And yeah, okay. 
again, something that isn't easy to tell. Our army was actually attacked by these, and they got really bonked really badly. So let's finish this up. You can see our archers shoot first, completely taking down the enemy. Very important unit. And we could attack here. You can see down there. I don't like it. It's not it's not very visible, but at the very bottom of this, you can see prediction. They're going to uh, take medium damage and deal no damage, and you lose 100%. So not worth it to attack with our scout there. Instead, we're going to send our scout in this direction toward this. Oh, no. So these barbarians are... 100% attacking our scout. We wanted to take this, which is not now happening. We finished with our tribal elders. So let's let's go for defenses because I would like to be able to build archers. And we're done building our stuff here. So we could build the council, which gives us one knowledge. And I think honestly we're gonna do that too. Uh, let's see. Let's end this turn. Yep. Our scout just got completely obliterated there. Let's see. Can we attack this? It's a 100% draw. We're going to take light damage and deal medium damage. So, I like... It's, it's, it's kind of cute, isn't it? It's kind of cute. But clearly, we have no chance against this, really. Our archers are shooting through. So they are killing the units inside. So eventually, we should make it through here. But there's only so many turns. Like, it does say down here how many turns there are for, for each round. Okay, so we can create a town, but we actually can't. Because you can't, you can only create one town to each city, basically. We're still working toward our first settler. We could... Uh, Wait for this. We could spend some here, which we're not going to do because we want that all toward one thing. So instead, the only thing we really can do is local reforms. Uh, boost regional efficiency. All resources generated in this region for five turns, which I guess is probably good. Don't quite know. So let's try and get, get this thing done here. So I just killed their guys, so now it's all damage on the walls, and we're not receiving any damage anymore. So again, I, th I think it's kind of cute. It's fun. It's nice that it's sensible. Ooh, we discovered an artifact. So the Bavarians are distinguished looking artifacts in their camp. So we could take that and get plus three culture. Okay, not bad. Or we could get the money. We have 24 gold, which is not a lot. I think we're going to take the culture. Because 5 culture, that sounds like a lot. Probably is too. And now we're going to try and reach this before our French scout friends do. Okay, we're pushing out ever more influence. So we'll just see if it's still there once we reach it. And we can get our first settler. So we're going to spawn him here, and I have no idea where to settle. No idea, but I think this is a this is a fairly decent spot. It's... I really... No, I have no idea. I want to say it's a good spot because there are things, you know, there's, there's cotton and there's sheep and all, but I really don't know. So we're going to go here in hopes of not getting snatched up because there's no protection on these. And nothing else needs doing... So Germany is very close to the Bronze Age. We are not. And we just randomly spawned some archers. Well, not randomly. We got the research done, which gives us archers, which is nice. So now we can work toward the Bronze Age and try and catch up to Germany. And we're going to bring these guys... I don't know, up here. And hope that we can build a city there. Really, no clue where it's sensible to build anything. Government XP or exploration XP. I think the 10 ex government XP is good. Since we don't have anything on the exploration path. Or domain, as they call it. So maybe we do this. We get some more food at home. Probably not a bad idea. Some of it was just paid for by what we found. 
Okay, there are all the French scouts here. And we're going to build our first new city. Liverpool right there. So this place... It, it doesn't have its own building stuff. And... I, Like, it gives us income. Okay, sure. It grows. Alright, it has an integration thing. Which maybe that is what needs to happen. Like, if we, if we look at this again, uh, which we can't for some reason. Also very inconsistent. So integration in 15 turns, they will be fully integrated. Does that mean then they are a city? Possibly. But we'll be able to create a town in there. So that's nice, <laughs> I would say. That's fun. That's great. So we got our army up here. We're going to bring it back home in this direction because I want to check these guys out. And I'm a little bit scared of having almost no defenses around here whatsoever. So we're going to put our archers on this fairly weak spot in hopes of defending with those guys. And again, okay, so I want them to be there now. I don't know if the game wants me to do that, but I can't, I can't be like, okay, just stand there until something interesting happens. Cannot do that. So there's Oshu. Which we could then attack. This is a neutral thing. Like, this is not a, its own civilization. And I, I, I'm, th I'm thinking we're supposed to take these. I couldn't tell you. Okay, so is this Germany advancing? Yeah, that's Germany advancing. So the Germans have reached uh, the Age of Bronze. Where we are still working towards. So this will give medium damage, medium damage. I think we're going to do it. We're going to try and get this random city under our control here. Let's see if our war bands can survive this. <laughs> and we can speed this up some more because... A lot of stuff is going on. So this here, I think, means they fled or something. Not so sure. They, they have different bars. The blue one is morale. Uh, the, the red one is health. So if the morale breaks, they're also kind of out of the fight. So yeah, this is, a, this is a barbarian settlement, basically. Basically. I wish it were a little bit clearer, but there we are. It is what it is right now. So we could upgrade some more stuff here. Improvement points. Honestly, we should probably spend these. I completely ignore them because they are not prominent. I mean, if you, if you play it a while, probably you figure it out. But I think it's a little bit bad. So what options do we have? We could build pastures, but we have nothing to pasture on. We could build a forester, which does something but it doesn't tell us. We could build fishing boats, but there ain't no fish. We could build a dock, which gives us some wealth if it's being worked. And... One wealth, even if it's not being worked. So I think we're going to build us a dock. Like that sounds sensible. And we got a utility ship. A ship designed for resource collection rather than warfare. So harvest goods and cancel harvest. So we now, now we need to find goods to harvest, basically, in the water. I would think. So let's build some more upgrades here. We could do a clay pitch, which we unlocked. And this gives us something. It doesn't tell us what it gives us. So we're going to put it on a thing that we're already working. And then we're going to check this out. And the clay pit is giving us clay, which... Gives us one production and one improvement points, which isn't really great because we are we're heavily losing food. So we need to redistribute a little bit. The dock also doesn't help us because we are still heavily losing everything. We need some growth here. We need more people. That's what I'm saying. So we're going to redistribute everyone toward food. So none of what I did was very sensible right there. Oh, there's a settler. Can we try and snatch the settler? That would be cool. So these, I, don't, I, I would like to pull back and heal up. I don't want them to die. 
And these guys are just gonna keep looking around until we can find some resources. So these will actually stay on their on their command until they're fully healed. So that's nice. Now the question is where did that settler go? <laughs> okay, we can do another culture power and we could raise an army with the warband and an archer. And I think honestly we might need to do that because I'm getting a little bit uh, scared around here with the troops that we have. We, we don't have that many. So let's join these up. I mean, a nice little big army. Government, we're close to getting another settler. So, as far as the, ooh, just one more turn feeling goes, I think they got that down. I think they really managed with that. Oh, there they are. Very good. That's what we're looking for. I think they really got that. I have this feeling of, ooh, let me just, let me just do one more thing and then I'll figure something out. Oh, there's fish. Maybe we can harvest the fish with that. But, however, everything else is a little bit, you know. Eh. Okay, so we have also aged the, the, the Age of Bronze now. And we're immediately gonna go for discipline. We could go for this, but I don't know if we really need... Stuff like that. I don't know. I'm feeling discipline is more sensible because defenses and stuff. I really don't know. Okay, so they managed to build uh, Uplands Vespi. We were a little bit too late to uh, prevent this. And I can't move in there either, so... Well, big shame. Now, now they got their stuff there. And we can unlock something now based on our new age that we reached. And this is a little bit different from, let's say, humankind. In humankind, if someone picks something already, then you just can't pick it, which is a little bit restrictive. But here, when you age up, you get a choice, and if you're the first one to pick the thing, the specialization, then you are basically getting this bonus here. So if we picked raiders or warriors, we would get the 15 bonus, and I think we're gonna go with raiders, because, I don't know, why not? I have, a, I have beef with the French there. So this gives your own specific things that you can then do with military points. So we're gonna pick that, and uh, we have 36 military points ready, so we can... Spawn raiders at our friendly settlement. Create two raider band units at your homeland. We could create some more, but also get plus one warfare XP from combat per unit, which is probably not so bad. Raider band. Uh, raider bands require no upkeep. That's pretty crazy good, I think. So we're going to go with that. I think we're going to go with that. So now we have this raider band here, which I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I don't actually know how to use them. So they cost us nothing. That's 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 pretty good. So maybe we use them against Oshu up there, or can we use them against the French down here? Well, we'll check it out. Let's get our little sheep. Send it there and start harvesting goods. Okay. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. So Liverpool integration is 8 out of 15. Maybe once it is an actual city we get to build something there. Because right now we, we really can't. Let's see what else we got. got our navy or army... We're soon done with our building there. And we have switched. Declare hostilities. So Sweden... Oh, I'm sorry. I, 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 I called... I called the Swedes French. I, I apologize sincerely. I mistook the crowns for fleur-de-lis. So we have a... We have a band of... Uh, oh, no, actually, not the band. We have a... 
We have a barbarian warlord at our gates who is absolutely destroying our warband. <laughs> Holy heck. Okay, ouch now. Thank you. So let's send in our raiders to finish this up. I hope. Oh boy. Okay, we managed. We, we got him. Only took all we had. Literally all we had. Okay, so a region is idle. So we can now build a warband, a dugout canoe, a city guard. City guards do what they say. So they get extra defense when they are defending in a city. And I cannot... I cannot actually build raiders. I think raiders only come through combat XP. So we still need to have combat XP. So we need more troops. And I think the raiders can deserve an archer to accompany them. That would be good, I think. So I'm pretty scared. Oh, we can't do anything for eight more turns. So we might as well spend a little bit here. And we're going to go for... Not the war band. We're going to go for the home improvements here. It's fairly expensive, but the payoff will be pretty good. Do we have anywhere sensible to put a hunting camp? Not really. So we're not going to do it. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what these are, by the way. Barbarian warlords might appear. Innovation chaos may appear. I think this is basically every time we, we click next. Or this is what the Bronze Age basically brings with it. Maybe. Okay. So I'm thinking we can do this over and over. And others, like outlaws and stuff, just kind of selected. We do need to fight to get the military experience, though. So we're going to bring these guys up here. And you can see how powerful the roads are. Like, that's, that's some crazy stuff right there. So we can try and attack that city up there and take it for ourselves. I'm going to put these guys in here to rest up. And now we're going to send these in there again. The Grand Canyon. Okay, it was... It was oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, there's a lot of... There's a lot of enemies here. Should we attack them first? 100% draw. 100% win. 100% draw. I'm not really getting anywhere with Oshu. Should we let them come to us? I don't think so. We should take the offensive. Draw 100% and this here will be win 100%. So we're going to take that battle here. Just take them out. Again, I think it, this is charming. I like this. This is kind of nice. This is cute. So there is uh, a way of upgrading your units. They, they gain veteran save points. Okay, this is this is one of those leaders. That's a problem. You guys are working your stuff. I don't know exactly how that works. Do we just get the food? I think because it doesn't actually show us where the food is coming from. But I think the ship is just kind of adding it. I have a feeling ships might be super powerful if, if that's how it works. Okay, so he attacked our raiders and did fairly well. We only really get a replay here. So that's what happened, kind of. And we can now attack. And hopefully we kill him without losing any of our troops. Yeah, that worked out. So our raiders cleared this up. We could attack this now again. I'm not so sure if the damage... Yeah, the damage that we dealt earlier is still there. So that's pretty nice. Eventually, we're going to take it down. Just got to whittle away at it. Okay, so we took down the Palisades, but the troops are still there. 
And some of our troops are a little bit scared. Just have to see how it works. Okay, we got our archers here. Which I think we're gonna leave here defensively. Now let's check this. Medium damage, light damage, 100% lose. So we're gonna go fall back with these guys. Lose 80%, draw 20%. So we're gonna fall back with these guys too. Now we destroyed the palisades, I don't think they're gonna rebuild them. So we should be fine pushing in there. And again, what does a 4x really need to do? It needs, in my opinion, it needs to have this, ooh, just another turn. Just another turn. So we're gonna get another canoe. Because if these add food and a lot of it, that's pretty strong. Let's bring in our archers here. Because we have one archer. Oh, we have a whole army here. Where did that come from? Okay, let's... Let's see. Let's unlock some more raider stuff. Gain additional gold from raising improvements. Create... Raider bands plus 10 movement. Okay, that's crazy. So if we go for Night March, we get a lot more movement out of our raiders. And we generate new raiders. So we have this raider band here. I don't... Th honestly, we might not... Maybe we don't... Maybe we don't go and combine... Our raiders with the archers. Because the raiders, they have... This big movement now, which the archers don't have. Okay, so we only lost the moral uh, defeat here, basically. But we're gonna get that city, I think. Okay, I don't like the Swedes encroaching on us here. Not a good look. This is a 100% win. Let's hope we don't lose anyone. Because some of our guys are a little bit... Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we got it. Nice. So now we can go ahead and we compel this to migrate to our capital. Gives us health, gives us some chaos, destroy Yoshu. Allow the people to become part of our United Kingdom. Mana nations become vassalized territory. So we're going to take that. And uh, since we have killed non-barbarian units, uh, we are closer to the age of blood. So... Moving forward in our research here, there are some options. It might happen that we become part of the Age of Blood, the Age of Heroes, Discover Landmarks is greater to equal three. So the Age of Blood, I don't think is good. <laughs> a possible crisis age, basically. We don't want to be in a crisis age. I don't think that's good. I'm not sure why these clearly barbarians weren't counted as barbarians. But then again, I don't need to understand everything. But look at that range on our boys. That is immediately ultra diminished because these guys don't have that kind of range. And these we're just going to keep here. I hate that I have to keep clicking that. At least for the ones that are actually healing. That's, that's kind of standard. So that's okay. Again, I'm not so sure if I want to keep the archers in this troop. I think the archers are just going to be sent out up here. To be defensive commands. And we're not at war, but we can still attack each other in neutral lands, I think. Oh, uh, our government. We, we could get a settler in two turns. I think we're going to keep it. Not going to do anything there. Exploration, we could get us a scout with 10 more points, but we don't really get any exploration points. I mean, look at how far they can go. That's that's kind of crazy. I don't think he has built any improvements, though. Let's just go and kill them. <laughs> Brings us closer to a blood age. But I don't like him running around my stuff here. Let's not do that. 
Okay, these guys we could upgrade to spear, which costs us warfare XP. Basically, but we're gonna do it. Because we definitely need eventually the next kind of unit, basically. So let's upgrade here as well where we can. Make our troops stronger. And our raiders are now the first veterancy level. So they get some extra attack and defense. The music is maybe a little bit overly epic. If we're being honest here. Guys, just rest up. Oh, I didn't want to click there. Let's choose a technology. So, we'll go for shipbuilding. Maybe. I mean, we are Britain and we are at the sea, so... I, f I feel like we're doing ourselves a disservice if we don't do that. So, let's get our little ship here and send it to another piece of fish hopefully <laughs> let's bring in our raiders I'm not gonna attack further we're just gonna go and rest them up and heal them up but we can now combine our raider armies because we are allowed to have four units in an army now so now we have a really big very strong raider army which I appreciate that's a good thing to have whereas these guys are a little bit lonely a little bit forlorn and we can spawn a settler now, which we will do apparently here, because <laughs> that's all we can do. And we're going to bring them over to here. So they're nice and protected with this army, and then we can bring them out with the army and find a nice little spot for them. And again, I have to give them commands. I Okay, our region is idle. We're not building nothing. We could build a walk, uh, work camp. An encampment, giving us extra warfare experience, which I think we need. So we're going to go with that. And let's build some more improvements here. Fishing boats. Can we just build that randomly? Or is that pre... Like, does, that, does that take fish? I don't know. Horse pasture, exploration XP. We don't need that. Uh, housing. How are we looking on housing? I don't know. How do we find out how we're looking on housing? So if zero work is available because everyone is doing something. Maybe if we upgrade the water with the fisher, then it goes up to two. But we have grassland, so we don't really need that. I don't see how much housing we have. But the fish is definitely added through the through the thing. So if you look at this, that gives us plus five food, which is kind of crazy. Mm. Could do another dock. More wealth income. I mean, we're at minus one at the moment, which is kind of bad for us, I think. A dwelling gives us also wealth, but only if it's worked. Housing for an increasing population. Where do I see... How many people can I have? Where do I see that? Let's try and find it. Okay, we have four people. Four out of ten. So we don't need housing right now. So instead, we're going to get ourselves another dock. Because that gives us another ship. Maybe? Definitely gives us more income. That That's certain. So we're kind of unlucky with where our ship uh, routes are located. Maybe we build our next city there, where all these things are. And we're just going to send our raiders out ahead. Yep. I knew it. Barbarians. Right there. I can't attack them, but... That's okay. So I'm a little bit torn on Millennia so far. I'm a little bit torn, I must say. 
Okay, we had a fight with some archers who killed a few of our boys. How dare they? But our boys bonked them back pretty decisively. I think this game needs some serious polishing up still. On the sound design. Like, look. What is this? I don't know. I think it has potential. I think it has potential. It might be a good game. I don't know exactly for how much it's going to sell. But that's also really heavily going to influence whether or not it's something that is to be recommended or not. But it has me hooked for the one more turn, one more turn, one more turn. Let me just do one more turn. <laughs> Definitely hooked for that. And it has some interesting mechanics. I like the battle, honestly. It's it's uh, it's cute. And it reminds me of olden times where this was much more common. So the fact that we keep running into uh, barbarians there makes me think this here might be a good spot. Or there is a barbarian city right there, which we can we can almost see it. It's right there. So let's see. We could get some reinforcements, which is nice. It's like a basic army heal uh, that's away from home, which I think is pretty cool. Or we just wait to improve our radius further. For example, this year, Marauders would be pretty darn good for us. That would keep our military XP coming in, which we really do need. Okay, our boat here is going to reach the fish now. The question is, will it... Like, do we need to... Oh, no, no, we have to, we have to set it to work that. And we shall. On the next turn, we can do that. So let's bring our army right there. And on the next turn, we're going to create our city. We're going to bring our raiders there. Okay, there's a there's a barbarian camp. And there is Osaka, another neutral city. We're just going to sit there. I'm doing much better than on my first attempt on this game, I must say. So these guys... Okay. Why can I not... Oh, these are this is this is not a resource gathering thing. That is a regular fighter thing. Oh god, what did I do? I thought I built another cool fishing thing, but I certainly didn't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna heal these up and we're gonna build our next city right there. They're gonna have to deal with it. And we can bring in our archers. I love that the, the, the roads are automatically built and that they're so sensibly powerful. You know? I'm just gonna keep our boat here. And this army we could go attack something. Heavy losses, light damage. No, heavy damage dealt, light losses. Or we could go here for medium, medium. I think we're going to go attack this first, probably. A few attacks and we're going to be in. Or we could just destroy it now. They take no damage, so might as well do it. That was a lie. We took some damage. Okay, do we take the cavalry or do we take production? We have zero chaos at the moment, so I think we're going to take the cavalry. And there is a Swedish army of 128 power. Wait, no, that's ours. Mount Everest was just discovered by the Swedes. That's what I'm looking here, looking at here. So we put the cavalry in there. Ah, that's our army. <laughs> I was scared of our own people for a second. That's that's always a good sign of a of a very strong leader. Okay, so we have a we have a little uh, hunting thing here that we can go hunt. So we're gonna put a hunting camp there. Build that right there. Boom. Doesn't help us yet because I don't think these have anyone to work this stuff. And I really don't understand. Oh. 
Oh, I have to click this button. Okay, that that's how it makes the city. Okay, now I know. Okay, all right. Now we know. Now we learned. Now we now we are aware. So, do we build a work camp? Production engineering. I think we need more government points instead. So, another town center. Sounds sensible to me. We cannot integrate this yet. And we cannot, of course, integrate this yet. Okay, culture power. We can do a Eureka, giving us some knowledge here. We could absorb an outpost into a level 2 town. I'm not sure what exactly here counts as an outpost. I don't think we have one. No, we don't have one. We can't absorb anything. So what we could do is create a town. And we could create a town for Liverpool. Which then helps generate some wealth. Like we can't put it here. But we definitely can put it there, for example. I'm not sure that was smart, but... No one ever said I am. <laughs> Let's see. Raiders. We could get us some more raiders. Or we wait... And get some extra attack versus militia unit, which is pretty good. But that takes a long time to get there. So we're just gonna let that accrue. And we're gonna get ourselves a scout. Somewhere there. So there's no auto scout, uh, scouting either. So make of that what you will. Personally, I like auto scouting. But... It gives you a little bit more of a of a strong handle on everything going on here. Okay, there's barbarians running around there. Good stuff. Let's try and stay away from them. Try at least. What is this? Regroup. Ah, right. We could use some exploration points and bring them back home. By the way, I didn't have to click these guys on again, so that's nice. Oh, we can upgrade them to galley for three exploration points. We'll do that for sure. Let's have a better ship. Osaka. We'll deal heavy damage and take light damage, so let's go. Let's take this city here. Okay, we've taken out the walls. We have lost no full unit, which I appreciate. Uh, we can't finish up the attack, sadly, because I blocked myself in a little bit. But we could promote someone to a leader, which gives the army their tactics. That. So, one of our troops here became a centurion, basically. I could do that more, but I don't want that, actually. And we're gonna just let them here to rest up a little bit. How big is this army? Okay, there's no other slot there. So we're just gonna put these guys in there. Set them to camp. Okay, shipbuilding is done. Now we need another thing. Do we go for mining or officials or community? Belief? Who cares about belief? <laughs> Certainly not us. Spawns a pioneer to your homeland. Unlocks the ability to rush culture. Spawns an envoy. I don't know what envoys do. Claim territory. Market building. I think we're going to go for mining though. I don't believe we have anything that we can mine really. So I think we can end our turn here. Oh, 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 our ship is being attacked by barbarians. And our scout is slightly harassed, so... We're just gonna move him into our cities. Now we're gonna bring these guys back to rest up. And bring this army in to finish up Osaka. So here's our leader. He's very leadering. They're really, really strong, so... Make no mistake. <laughs> Our cavalry just bonking than we did. Uh, so we could just raise this. 
which might make some sense for us. But instead, we're gonna go vassalize. And we are now a nation uh, controls the future, then it will be one written in blood. We are now in a blood crisis. I don't know exactly what that means, but maybe we're gonna find out. Let's build some improvements, possibly. I don't want to build a ship there. Let's see. Pasture, clay pit, a dwelling. Mm. Can't really do a farm or anything. Could do a forester. Let's do a forester here. Like, they're working this field anyway. Might as well get extra production out of it. The rest... Might build a forester in one of these. Since there is a lot of forest there. And there's another... Camp. Oshu Integrate 38. 38, but very far away from it. Very far away from it. Okay, let's end our turn. Our, sh our ship completely obliterated the enemy. We could promote to leader 2. So that would be an upgrade to the leader that we already have. I think we're just gonna rest these guys here. And we're gonna bring our raiders closer to home. And rest them up until they're fully healed up. Here is just the battle replay. <laughs> of our galley insta-sinking that enemy ship. The dared attackers. So what's that age of blood thing now? Okay, we, we, we have to go there. We can't go into age of iron. All of these are locked. We have to take this now. But it doesn't sell us exactly what it is. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Let's see. Let's send our scout north a little bit. Can we just... Discover a landmark? I don't know if we can discover things that are already discovered by the Swedes. Alright, so we fully have... This city here now? Where are our raiders? Because I don't like that. Okay, our raiders up there. So we're just going to send them here. Show of strength. Show them that we mean business, that we exist. There is a German scout. Which doesn't matter too much to me. And... Yeah, we could probably push something here. We don't need a war band. Government is p uh, ready for peaceful revolution. Uh, that might be interesting to save up for. We definitely don't need any settlers anymore. At this point, we are we're doing quite well on that end. Okay, Sweden wants us to go back to neutrality. We're going to do that. I have no interest in fighting Sweden. Really? These guys are healing up. We're moving onward. Just gonna go have a little look around here. So moving through forest is kind of difficult, if not impossible. There are barbarians anteportas. They're probably gonna take on those scouts. And they got destroyed by, the, by those scouts. I am impressed. Okay, there is... A lot of stuff going on here, holy heck. Uh, I think we're gonna go and push toward that camp here with our army and take it out. Since we're no longer hostile with them, we might actually bring in our raiders here to do that. If it, idle region. This is Birmingham. This is our main home thing. A work camp, maybe. 
production influence. I'd like some walls. I feel safer with walls, so we're gonna build walls. Okay. Let's see. Did they attack us? Crisis Ages. Okay, so... Crisis Age is coming up... No, 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 no. The Age of Blood is a Crisis Age, a kind of age. Yeah, okay, sure. There are some niche advantages that you might be able to turn into opportunities to get ahead, such as every nation being locked into a state of permanent war. Se what? Select the research meter at the top left, and then click on the age of the... What? Every nation is locked into a state of war? What? <laughs> what? I can't even click on this. It said click there, but I can't. Okay, we got a pioneer. This guy can create an outpost. An outpost can then be absorbed. <sighs> the Swedes took all the mountains. That was my plan. I wanted to take mountains. We need mountains, I think. <laughs> Damn you, Sweden! This is unacceptable. Are we just gonna send them out this way and see where we might want to put that outpost? And we're gonna leave this army here because my raiders can take care of the barbarians, I think. Well, if they could reach them. They sure could. There's so many scouts here. I can't click this. Oh, because... Mm. Okay, it doesn't do the thing of other games where it automatically pushes you into the next research thing. Alright, got it. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to go into the Age of Blood. And for now, because I wanted to do some other things tonight in the stream, I think that's it for Millennia. If you're watching this over on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got my impression. I think it does a few things very right. Alter road creation. Uh, these domain systems, I think, are cr they're quite interesting. They're a little bit special. They're different. Uh, but other things are a little bit odd. And it feels weird. This game feels weird. It doesn't feel very familiar and thus not super comfortable. But I think that's mainly down to me and my expectations and biases. So your mileage, most invariable, will vary. Go check it out. It's currently on the Steam. Next Fest is for free. You can play it until February the 12th. And I hope you enjoy it. And if you're watching over on Twitch, we're just going to keep going now.